Okay, everybody. The Bill in Alaska, back on day 94 of my carnivore journey. Um, as you may have noticed from my thumbnail, uh, this may be a little bit different video <laughs> than my normal upbeat. Hey, everything's going good. Uh, it's not clickbait. I don't do clickbait. <clears throat> uh, it's the experiencing life. I got a little bit of a uh, little, little bit of drama going on. Not drama, but just uh, well, you'll see. Um, you know, man, it's just going to be difficult making this one. You know, for anyone who's who knows me, what I've been doing in these last three months, you know, since I met Carrie and since I discovered discover carnivore, uh, what I've been doing as far as putting myself out there in the public eye, you know, and, and, and telling my story is very uh, uncharacteristic of me. I am very, very private person by nature, always have been. I'm the kind of guy who like to go out in the middle of the wilderness, you know, alone or you know, with my best friend, Daisy, obviously, and just live alone and be very happy about it. Uh, I'm a very private person. So sharing my life, you know, with everyone for the last three months has been a, sometimes a struggle. You know, everyone says I come off as a, you know, a great speaker and a nat in, in natural, but it doesn't feel that way half the time. A lot of times I struggle, you know, talking about myself and I only share just a tiny, you know, just a very small percentage of what's really going on with me. But anyway, um, yeah, we, uh, we got a few things going on. I'm just going to really try to condense this and keep it in a nutshell because I don't really know enough about what's going on to, to talk at any length about it. But um, just real quick, uh, a few months ago, and we're talking months, I don't know, like six months. It was like in the middle or the beginning of summer, maybe in the spring. I noticed uh, my shoulder was, was a little bit sore. And I thought, well, I must have just slept on it wrong or something. But it just wasn't getting any better week after week and it, and it turned into months and my shoulder wasn't getting any better it was still it was still bothering me and if you remember if you guys noticed uh i haven't put out any videos of me hit my punching bag in quite a few videos it's been about a, a half month and a half or so because my shoulder was bothering me it would be real sore after i would do my workouts on the punching bag so i haven't done them in a while but um it was maybe three videos or so ago, maybe three weeks ago, a month ago. And one of the comments, someone said, Hey, Bill, what's with that lump on your neck? <laughs> and I was like, huh, a lump? I don't have a lump on my neck. And I looked and sure enough, there was, there was a swelling right in my, right in my right lymphatic duct is what that area is called. And that's, that's right where the swelling, I saw some very, very slight but swelling and it wasn't long after that that i started the soreness in the back of my shoulder started to move forward right into that uh right lymphatic duct area right where the swelling started <clears throat> anyway uh it wasn't more than a, a few days after that i noticed i started to have numbness in my legs just certain parts of my legs my skin I, it was completely numb and over the course of the last few weeks, this has been going on for a few weeks now, and I didn't mention it in my previous videos because I was, I just like I said, I just don't mention everything that's going on with me. And I was hoping it was just part of the um, oxalate dumping and it would pass, but it hasn't passed. The numbness has gotten worse. So my nurse was just here Friday and I was uh, telling them all about it and they did a thorough check. And it was their consensus, uh, like, Bill, you got to go in and you got to get some tests done. Just from the uh, from the sore shoulder for so long, and then the swelling in my right lymphatic duct, and then the numbness. And now the numbness is um, half of my body is completely numb. It's the craziest thing. I never experienced anything like it. From a few inches above my stomach or my navel, my belly button, about four or five inches i can feel my chest and everything just fine but when i when i get down to four or five inches above my belly button my entire lower half of my stomach completely numb my legs completely numb 
there's a few areas like my kneecaps. If I touch my kneecaps, which I'm touching right now, I can feel it. But I move up a couple inches, numb. I move to the sides, completely numb. Um, and I was doing some research, and it's a little, it's a little sketchy, you know, uh, nerve damage. Joel, one of the male nurses, or the male nurse that comes, um, is Joy and Joel. Joel was talking about, uh, he was trying to figure out what was going on with me and the numbness. And he was trying, he was thinking, well, you know, because you lost so much weight so quickly, maybe you're sitting a little different, sleeping a little different, and just putting pressure on one of your discs, which is, which is pinching a nerve bundle. But <clears throat> the numbness is getting worse. And he, and he, when he was like, uh, yeah, it's nothing you want to, nerve damage is not nothing you want to play around with. Especially the muscles in my legs have gotten worse too the last couple of weeks. I'm having a very hard time walking again. It's different than what it was before three months ago when I had a hard time walking just because I lost 700 pounds. But now my hard time walking is because my muscles in my legs are like super weak. They don't have any strength, which is different than it was before. My muscles have plenty of strength. It was just under the stress of all that weight. Anyway, Joel's like, yeah, that's kind of discern or uh, concerning because when nerve damage gets to the point where it's weakening your muscles, you know, that's a, that's not a good place to be. Anyway, um, so I I want to have to go in. So it turns out <laughs> that I need to leave my house earlier than uh, I was hoping when Carrie comes up this spring. Oh, and it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Uh, leaving especially with my legs being as weak as they are uh, even though i have to go out it's not going to be the same as when carrie comes up here next spring when i actually go outside and i'm you know walking on the ground and have a campfire and go on the four-wheeler we figured out that the boys are going to have to pull our van straight up to my door like almost touching the door open the side door of the van and i'm essentially going to step from my doorway right in, right into the van and you know sit down on the floor of the van my brother's work van and I'll sit on the floor of the van like I do on my bed, you know, kind of Indian style and go into the clinic and get a bunch of tests done. But uh, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> I hate going to the clinic. I, you know, I used to go there all the time years ago, but you know, since I've been in my house for over four years, you know, it's, I obviously haven't been there in, in quite a while, <clears throat> but with what I have going on now, um, I'm going to have to go in and, and get checked. I just been, I would have went in sooner, but like I said, I was hoping it was just the oxalate dumping and I'm still hoping that it is. I just got some severe oxalate dumping going on, but with the sore shoulder I've had for months and it's gotten worse and then the swelling in my duct and now my numbness, the half of my lower body, uh, I got to go in, got to go in and get checked. You know, you know what's really ironic is that it's for the last ten years, especially the last few years, as I was gaining weight and gaining weight. Um, in the back of my mind, I just something kept screaming like, you know, you, at some point you're going to pay for this. You're you're going to get cancer. You're, something terrible is going to happen. You can't keep abusing your body like this without eventually something bad happening. And right when I Finally, you know, I discover carnivore and I finally turn stuff around. Then boom, I'm hit with these uh, potential um, serious issues. We'll see. I'm still optimistic and we'll see what the, what the tests say. I, uh, before I, I make it, jump to any conclusions, I just, I got to go in and, and get tested and see how it turns out. But however it turns out, you know, it was meant to be things uh there are very few accidents in this life and if i uh if i have to pay the price for some the terrible abuse i did in my body for so long you know that's the part that's the price i got to pay and i'll deal with it and push my way through it um things happen for a reason even even the bad things most of the time the bad things happen for a reason to teach us a lesson to make us stronger so uh, whether it's good news or bad news, I'll, I'll get through it.
and uh, and I'll let you guys know. Uh, here's a little section of um, when my nurse was here just a couple of days ago and what she was saying. This goal is a goal for your health. Let's make that goal that in the next three weeks, at least I'll give you three weeks. I'd rather it be within the next week, but let's give you three weeks that you are going to get down to the clinic, find out what's going on with this bump by getting an ultrasound, an x-ray, whatever it is that they um, need to do there right. to find out so that that way you have peace of mind. Hopefully it's nothing. Or if it's something that we can get on it and treat it before it gets worse. Right. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to. I'll try to make it sooner than three weeks. Okay. Maybe two and a half weeks. <laughs> Come on, I'm holding you to <laughs> oh, it. Oh, she's making me shake on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding you to it. I, I think you'll feel better knowing. Oh, 100%. Um, I think it'll take stress off you. Then you can focus on more positive things than to be stressed about, is this causing my legs to go numb? Is this, what is all of this that's happening to me? Right. I feel like it, it, that we need to find out why all this is happening. And the best way to do it is to get further testing, something that we can't do here at, the, right. at your house. All right, I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm writing that down. <laughs> she's writing it down yeah she's gonna hold you to it oh yeah um uh, i'm gonna have to get into the clinic here in the next uh i'm probably gonna i think they're calling me today and they're gonna set up an appointment they're gonna want to know when i want to come in and i'm probably going to push it to the end of the week just because me being me i'm just going to try to hold on a few more days and see if things start improving the numbness starts going away but you know it's it's kind of been progressively getting worse this last month instead of getting better so we'll see what happens um but I, i'll let you guys know anyway that's all i'm going to say about that stuff for now it's um uh, i really don't know enough to, to really go into any more detail than that but it'll all work out no matter good news or bad news everything's going to be all right I think I mentioned it in my last video also. It felt like I felt like my weight has stalled a little bit, my weight loss. And I hear a lot of carnivores talking about this recently too. Todd was just talking to uh talking to Carrie about it a couple of days ago on their live stream. Um and he was talking about uh Bella and the gang, the butter gang over there. Um had him on thirty six eggs per day, I think. Something crazy. Like the uh, eating more seems to help the weight stalling. I said, you know, that's just the reverse of what we've been taught, huh? But I might have to try that because it feels, I feel like my weight has stalled a little bit. My weight loss has stalled in the last couple of weeks. But anyway, here's a few of the things that I've been eating, eating in the last few days. Got some beautiful looking short ribs in my Ninja Air Fryer. Getting ready to slow cook these bad boys for a good, no, three and a half, four hours. Yeah, probably about 275, 300. We'll see how it goes. We're about an hour and a half in. Let's have a look. Put a little more water in there. Get a more of a braising action going on.
my goodness. That is something special. Some hamburger patties cubed up and a few eggs. Simple but delicious. Oh boy. Got his new air, or uh, his new ramp, a new shelf ready. He's getting ready to go out the first time. They just got done putting it in. Daisy, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's your new ram, Dizzy, and your new shelf. Oh boy. Trying it out for the first time. What do you think, Dizzy? You like it? New shelf connecting his old place over there. You keep his paws off that frozen ground. Yeah, I gotta keep your paws off that frozen ground, Izzy. Anyways. Um, so I'm going to start to wrap this one up. Uh, sorry, it wasn't more upbeat and everything's good to go, you know, as usual, but you know, that's not life. Life throws us curveballs. Um, life is full of ups and downs and struggles, sometimes deep struggles. So we'll have to wait and see how deep my struggle ends up going here, but whatever happens, it's in God's hands and, uh, it was meant to happen. Whatever, you know, th there are very few accidents in this life. We are meant to go through the things that we go through. And it's for a reason, even though it's, it can be very hard to understand that reason most of the time. You know, there's a scripture, it's uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, where uh, our Father in Heaven is talking about how he has plans for us. And the plans are for our benefit. They're not to harm us, but for our benefit. And we got to remember that it's, that's from a, a eternal perspective um which changes everything you know when a loving father has an eternal perspective of to not harm us but to give us an eternal beautiful salvation um got to remember eternal perspective is, is everything anyway please you guys be kind to one another take a look at what's going on in the world and realize the time is now for some big changes. Be kind to one another. Forgive each other. Be, be in a constant state of repentance and telling our Father in Heaven that we're sorry for falling short and we'll try to do better. Amazing thing is that every single day when you wake up, it's just it's like you have a clean slate. You get to start your life all over again every time you wake up and make that day better than the day before. So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'll keep you guys updated what's going on with me. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, she's going to the